Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I did a video probably a couple years ago about six ways to select an item or an object, and I've had, within the last several months and even last several weeks, I've had two people come in and give me some more ideas on more ways. I still can't figure one of their ideas out, but I thought I'd go over this because if you're a new viewer to my channel, you probably haven't seen it anyway. So... Way number one is just get your pick tool and just select the item. Way number two would be to go to your pick tool. And if you wanted all your items selected on your page or even off your page, you just double click and you can see I've got 13 selected across multiple layers because I have these in layer two or yeah, I'm in layer two. So I selected that. The other way would be to go Control A, and it did the same thing. It picked the 13 object. So you could double click there. The next one would be the shift, which I use the most often. If we want that triangle or that rectangle and that polygon, I'm holding down the shift key and I've got those two objects selected and I can delete them or bring them back. The other one is the lasso tool which is inside, I call it the lasso tool, it's a freehand tool, where you can just actually draw a box around. And this really comes in handy if things are closer together. You could actually uh, grab this, you know, and then go over here and grab this, and you've got those two items selected. The other way would be, let's go back to the pick tool, and the other way is the Alt button. Now, when you select this with your pick tool, you've got to be right on it. But if you hold down your Alt key, you only have to get part of it. So if you want that rectangle in that circle, you just have to grab any part of it. This is very useful if you're selecting a lot of things. You could just, I've got those four, four items selected, barely. And I did it. The next way is just the freehand tool with the same thing. With the Alt key down, you can draw a freehand and it'll select anything that you're even relatively touching. Now, the other ways these people suggested, and I thank them for doing it. Well, one of them right here before we do go there. When you need to select that black one, you can see under my object manager I've got the black one selected, but you can act, actually hold down the alt key and grab that black one through this one. As you can see, we've got the rectangle. Click it again and you get, you go down the layer a little bit more. So if these are really close or even if they're on top of each other and you can't see them, you can't see the yellow one. Let's hold down the alt key and I pick the black one. Let's click it again. I've got the yellow one now and then I can move the yellow one out. The other way, and they're suggesting, is use the, the object manager. And there's really only two benefits to this. Let's say if you want that ellipse, you just select it over here and you can hit delete. Or you can bring it back and then you can change the color, make it feel, make it you know, green. And the other thing, if you wanted these three rectangles and you're using the office or the office manager, the object manager, you could click on the top one, hold down the shift key and click on the bottom one, and you're going to get those three. Same thing if you want the polygon all the way down, you just hold down the shift key or the alt key, no, the shift key. And that's like in almost any computer program will we'll select. If you hold down the shift, it'll select everything between the two. So that's the 10 ways to select something. And I've maybe got one more coming. If they, I, I can't figure out what they're telling me in one of them. But I thank them for their suggestion. And I hope that helped you a little bit. Thank you for watching.